episode start. In three, two, one, let's go. Code Lyoko. I was trying to do uh, Cowboy Bebop. That's not how Code Lyoko goes at all. I know. So I'm just reminding people that was a show that exists. I've actually been binging it for the last couple of weeks. Oh, well, what's it on? Oh, it's on Netflix. It's kind of a... Uh, eh. Wait, why isn't... Turn your control, Leo. I thought I had turned my control off. Hey, Swingers, we're playing the original Star Wars Battlefront 2 because we're bouses. You know, the good one. Yeah. Anyways, something to note, Swingers. Me and my little brother, we were talking earlier, and a conversation came up. Are we doing this? Uh, no, I thought we were going to do the campaign mode. We can do the campaign mode. Yeah. Uh, um, th there was a conversation that came up that um, I want to have with my with, with Seth now. With my buddy, my friend, my pal. Um, and it's all good lightsaber fights in Star Wars. And with a limb getting cut off. Except Yoda versus Palpatine. What, and also... No, wait. Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon versus uh, Maul does end with a body being cut in half. Yep, which is close enough. Which, by the way, every single Star Wars movie in one through six, all the the original saga, the first six, somebody loses a limb in every single one. Palpatine lost his entire body. What? He was thrown down the reactor shaft. Oh, no, uh, that doesn't count. I think it do. But, like... Maul versus Obi Wan and Qui Gon. This is oh crap. Well, um, I was about to say that's why the the five hundred first journals are why. Oh wait, we gotta restart this anyways. Why? We're not doing the training mission, the the one on um. Oh okay. Well, let's yeah, I want to do back. the Geonosis one as well. Swingers is gonna be a second. But yeah, so Qui-Gon versus Obi-Wan, or Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan versus Darth Maul, great fight. <laughs> Darth Maul gets cut in twang, cleft in twang. Um, the next lightsaber fight would be... And also, I didn't mean to skip the thing, so we, I want to... Yeah. Um, 501st Journals. Honestly... So good. This is the best, this is part of the reason, not the entire reason, but part of the reason why this game is superior. Just listen for a second. Yeah. I don't know if they can actually, how well they'll be able to hear this right now, though. We have it muted, so we don't, we can't even hear it. But, like, I binged through this on YouTube yesterday. I listened to them all. Listening to Tamara Morrison's thick New Zealand accent. It's beautiful. Can we do two-player in training mode? I don't believe we can, so. Oh, that's fine, then. Well, I'll just sit out, and I can just talk. So, yeah. Obi-Wan versus, Obi-Wan and Darth, Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon versus Darth Maul. Darth Maul gets cleft in twang. Yep. Great fight. Awesome fight. Episode 2. Zam Wessel loses an arm. Yep. Not really a fight. Um, C-3PO loses a body slash head. Thrice. Because <laughs> let's be honest, like, he does. Uh, but we don't have to count C-3PO. Jango Fat loses a uh, body. He, well, yeah, but, like, he also loses his head. No, no, his head loses his body. Okay. Uh. How do I reload? Oh, it's down. Okay. Seth, think about it. You're, you're not... You as a human. You're just a head with a vehicle attached. I suppose. Um, then... But it was me! Dio! Then after that, Anakin loses his... Part of the, the, his lower arm. Well, up to all the way up which, to his bicep, really. Gonna be honest, not a great fight. Anakin versus Dooku was a really bad opinion. Um, but oh, I do want to talk about that fight a bit more later, and uh, for two reasons: the dual wielding and Obi Wan. So remind me of that later. So th apparently, they actually explained that away at some point. Yeah, but we'll we'll, we'll deal with that later. So I think that's all the limbs in episode two, right? Zam and Anakin mostly. And Django. Oh, and Django, and we said that. So episode three, there's a huge li limbs limbs be flying everywhere. You 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 can't you can't keep your limbs in episode three. If you're in episode three, you lost a limb almost assuredly, unless you're Obi Wan or Yoda. Um, but, they lost their pride though. 
But let's, let's starting off, start right off the bat. Dooku loses both hands and a head. Great fight, right? Yep. Then the next fight is is the next real fight is Obi Wan versus Grievous, right? Yeah, Grievous loses at least one hand, potentially two. I don't know for sure. He loses less hands than he loses lightsabers. I just don't remember if he loses two or three lightsabers. But still, great fight. After that, uh, the next major fight is Palpatine versus the four Jedi Masters, at, which ends with Mace Windu losing a hand. Also, apparently, great fight. Apparently, in um, canon, like in the novelization of that fight, Windu wins. No, well, that's not what I'm getting at. Kit Fisto has his head lopped off. Oh well, we can drop that on too then. Except it doesn't happen in the movie, so it doesn't quite count. Uh, and then in episode... Oh, and then uh, final fight. Or, well, final two fights. Anakin versus Obi-Wan. Anakin loses an arm and two legs. And his bows. They get burned off. Uh, they get crispy. Probably the greatest fight in all of Star Wars. And yes. then in... Yoda versus Palpatine, the only good fight where no one loses a limb. Yes. Um, I do very much like Vader versus uh, Luke, both of them. Uh, Seth? But they are kind of lame. We'll, we'll get back to that. But, um, so I think that's all the limbs in episode three, right? Uh-huh. Episode four, that guy in the bar loses an arm to Obi-Wan. Yep. Which was, all right, sick. Yeah, except pretty aggressive on Obi Wan's part. Well, he had to defend Luke. Yeah, nah, Luke kind of sucked. Um, but I think that's the only limb lost in Episode Four, and then, as many people agree, like the Darth Vader versus Obi Wan fight's not that great. There's a whole reason, like, they remade it on YouTube and did a better job. Yeah, I don't know. I, it's not a great fight, but, like, I don't think it ever was supposed to be. Like, well, I, I think... No, it's... George Lucas explained it away as being bad, but he had no idea how to choreograph that shit. Yeah, and, like, don't let's be honest, like... Obi-Wan through, we all know that. And we can go into further depth into that later. And... Vader... And, like, let's be honest, most of the fight with horse powers that... Like, it, subtle force power stuff, mo most likely. Like, you know, we don't see the real fight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, episode 5, I think the only limb loss is Luke's hand. Which that fight is... Wampa. Oh, the Wampa loses an arm? That's right. Uh-huh. I forgot about that, Swingers. Yeah, I don't count, like, most of the, like, the droid stuff. Like, 3 PL gets blown to pieces, but, like, who cares? Um... And, like, the, the Vader-Luke fight's alright. It's not the worst fight in Star Wars. I, I honestly fall to either Finn versus Kylo Ren or um, Dooku versus Anakin 1. That fight was just... It was, part of that fight was just them spinning their blades in front of each other. I know. It was super bad. Yeah. So those are probably the two worst fights, period. Um, Although none of the Rey versus Kylo fights are good. Well, they don't really... They only fight the one and a half times. Like, they fight a little bit in eight. And, oh, they fight a couple of times in nine, and they're not bad fights. But, but like, the, so the forest lame. fight in one, or in seven, wasn't particularly good in general. Um, but, so, yeah, I think that that's... And then episode six is just Vader loses a hand, right? Which, yeah. again, that fight isn't, like, a whole lot. And I found out recently... Uh, Vader's, at one point, when Vader throws his lightsaber, the blade comes out the wrong end. And I just think that's so funny. Oh, what? I'm supposed to be killing droids. I keep finding Geonosians, not droids. There's a droid right there. What? One droid remains. Is, is that... There. You, you still have to take command posts, right? Uh, you missed. Yeah. Wow, okay, I did it twice. Uh, well, to be fair, somebody stole your kill. So there's plenty of joys to pick from. Wow! wow. Got him. Objective complete. Okay. 
We, uh, we, I think I lose Windu here, right? Uh, probably. Wow, that took a lot of your health, though, honestly. Because I was running, I was dicking around, let's be honest. Let's go back to a good class. Yeah. This actually, Honestly, this class is kind of overpowered once you get, well, even when you don't have the award shotgun, it's kind of overpowered. So, so Swingers, just so you guys know, Seth is going to have, an, we're, we're obviously going to be teamed as we do this campaign, but, but Seth's going to have a bit of an advantage over me because he, he starts off with most of the reward weapons and I don't start off with any of them. Hopefully by the end of our playthrough, we oh, I might have fuck. the award rifle. Yeah, you got bodied. I, I might have the award rifle unlocked, but I don't know for sure. Oh, do you have the, um? You, I bet you don't have the reward cutter. There, there's an award cutter? I think there is, because... Is it for cutting my wrists? Wow. Way to be a loser. Uh, <laughs> bad joke. Re like, honestly, bad joke. Yeah. It was. No, I, I'm pretty sure you can get the award cutter for s slicing into ships. What, what like the enemy? Fuck? What was that shit? Because you you are aware you can slice into enemy vehicles while they're in it, right? Yeah, I'm doing uncharacteristically bad here. Yeah, my god. All right, fuck you. Yeah, it didn't do much. There you go. Yeah, the range can be weird because with the award shotgun. The uh, dispersion can be quite nice, and you can actually snipe with it sometimes. And other times, it's just like, nah. Also, I'm not used to playing in third person. I know I'm just coming up with excuse after excuse, but like, I'm really... I always play this game in third person, to be honest. I don't know why, but I prefer this specific game in third person. Set to your left. I see him. I was talking about the soup, to be honest, but yeah. No, the, honestly, the Geon Oceans are so fucking annoying because their hitboxes are tiny. Also, they just spawn right behind you. Can the Geon Oceans spawn anywhere on the map? Apparently. Also, where the fuck is my support? Yeah, like, this is a training mission. You're doing very poorly for a training mission, Seth. It's not like I have it on hard. I don't. I forgot there's a difficulty setting in this game. Also, with how much I've been missing, because I, I, all right, swingers, more excuses. I play with mouse and keyboard more often than not. It's more precise. Did that guy just leave a, oh no, because it's a soup. It must have been dropped by a friend. I was going to say like, did that guy just have martyrdom from Call of Duty? Wow. Holy shit. I, mean, I remember I'm this specific part of the remarkably bad. I'm gonna be honest that this specific part of the training mission is kind of like the hardest part uh, until like Kashyyyk. No, well, yeah, but I was gonna go with Tantive Four. I used to have so much trouble with the Tantive Four level. Like, if it weren't for the fact that they had infinite spawning allies, and my allies weren't dumb as shit. It just seems like the ratio of allies is in heavily in their favor, which makes sense because I believe that was the case, right? Yes, but the clones had to drop on them and they were disorganized. Just stand in that corner if you can still, like... Oh, that's not really a corner, though. Well, watch this. Oh, well, I got two of them. Yeah. But they just keep spawning all around me. Yeah, And I'm like... not recovering any health. Once it turns a little blue, they stop spawning in here, but, like, it doesn't matter because they seem to spawn from everywhere else. Actually, I'm not even sure they're spawning in here. No, but, like, where the fuck do they keep coming from? I, I, I think they are literally just spawning from just the general area. Like, the spider walkers spawn around here, and I think they can spawn on the spider walkers. Maybe War Hero. 76 kill swingers. Okay. That yeah, but is... I died like 14 times. Just trying to take that one base. I need to get Are... my eye in. Ooh, can I take some of these? You can take some of these. Skittles sponsor us, though. <laughs> Honestly, we'll take anybody sponsoring us, though. Well. Except for Home Depot. Well. There's a couple. Did you just skip it, or was that the end? I think that was the end. So go to the Creus stash real quick. I thought there was a ward cutter. 
Yeah, no, technician. Okay. That's actually a pretty good bonus. Regen. Alright, I guess I'll have to do that. Um, and then... There's also one for, um... Here, let's, uh, start a new episode.